President Trump has tried to distance himself from Paul Manafort and Michael Cohen's convictions and pleas, but a new Fox News poll finds 40% of voters expect Robert Mueller to find out the president committed criminal or impeachable offenses. That's a five points from April. So will the Mueller investigation hurt Republicans come November, or could the threat of impeachment actually energize the GOP? Joining me now, founder and CEO of American Majority, it is Ned Ryan, and host of The Richard Fowler Show, it is Richard Fowler. He is also a Fox News contributor. Welcome, hey, gentlemen. Kennedy. Thanks, Kennedy. Uh, hey, Kennedy, how are you? Great, too. Very well. Thank you very much, Richard. Good to talk to both of you. Uh, Ned, I will start with you because it's interesting. You have more Republicans willing to talk about impeachment than Democrats right. because this is something <laughs> that, that really could energize Republican voters if, in fact, it gets to that point and, and they feel that this is just political bullying to even the score. Oh, 100 percent. And, and, and I think the impact on the midterm really comes down to what do the American people think this is about? Is this really about the law or is this trying to settle political scores through the legal system? And if they think that it's trying to settle political scores through the legal system, I think that has really negative implications for the Democrats and the left. And I would argue that's what this is really all about. This is people trying to continue political battles through our legal system. And as Molly pointed out, all this has to do with anything is about the fact that the left lost an election in 2016 that it didn't think it was going to lose. And right now, the only thing that Donald Trump is guilty of is winning that election in 2016 that nobody thought he would win. I will say this. The Democrats are trying to tamp down, or at least have been, trying to tamp down the talk of impeachment because they know that that will energize the Republican base to get them out to vote in those House elections, to vote in those Senate elections. And so they're trying to keep it under wraps as much as possible, yeah, but and, and it's know, hard to keep that crazy under wraps, Kennedy. And uh, politicians shouldn't be impeached because you don't like them. That's, that's not enough. That's right. And there are plenty of people who don't like Nancy Pelosi, and, and she has been used as a fundraising tool pretty effectively by Republicans. Now, uh, the former speaker, Richard, she has been talking about corruption in the GOP for quite a while now. Um, if the Democrats don't really have any new ideas, will this corruption be the new talking point that they try and use to uh, gain some traction come midterms? Well, I think Democrats have a lot of great ideas, and you, all you have to do is talk to some of our candidates running for office, like Lauren Underwood in Illinois, who's running an amazing race there. Or you can talk to our candidates running in Virginia against Barbara Comstock, who will likely pick up their seat. So I think Democrats have a lot of ideas, and they're having living room conversations with the American voters. But that doesn't take away from the fact that what we're witnessing under this Trump White House is this. President Trump says he hires really great people. He hires mm -hmm. only the best people. So far, his campaign chairman has been convicted of a crime. His lawyer for 22 years has pled guilty to not only bank fraud, but also to paying off a porn star. And Omarosa has books and she's Don't dropping tapes. Don't forget the Playboy model. Don't Come forget, on, Richard, yeah. the porn star so and the Playboy model. Forgot, I forgot the Playboy model. <laughs> you have you. Omarosa dropping tapes like it's going out of style. So if these are the yeah, good people that he him. hires, yeah. then the American people are scratching their head and saying, hmm, Mr. President, I'm not sure these are good people. And that speaks more about you than it does about them. No, I, I, and it's, it's really interesting because... On one hand, when he listens to other people, he, he does tend to hire and appoint very bright people. But uh, right. when, when he acts through loyalty, he doesn't make the best decisions, Ned. No, and I would argue I think a lot of people are going to be looking, okay, we don't all make the greatest decisions in hiring people. Uh, but let's look at his policies and, and let's see if we felons, like these man. policies. <laughs> Oh, you want to talk about convicted felons? We can go back to the Clintons and talk about the crime family of the dozens yeah, of people. Yeah, but here's the thing: the Clintons uh, are in the White House. Donald Trump long, is. No, long time associates. She's not likable. She's not Bill Clinton. She's not likable at all. But the no Clintons one likes are her. not in the White House. They She's have no power Let whatsoever. Me put She's it a war this way, Kennedy. Sorry, Ned, go ahead. No, let me put it this way: all we're really talking about is people trying to impeach. Donald Trump to overturn the 2016 elections. We can gripe about some of the hires that he's made, maybe not the best. People, it's going to come down to Who whether the American people, people think that this is common sense or fairness, and do they like his here's, policies? Here's what I will and if they say. like his you policies, know, his, they will re elect there are, him. There are scummy, disgusting, filthy people on many sides. And That's right. politics, particularly in Washington, tend to attract some real doozies especially people who have been marginalized from the system because of their questionable pasts. Uh, they are attracted like moths to camping lamps to someone like Donald Trump, <laughs> who is in such proximity 
to power. Um, I guess the question is, Richard, where do Democrats go from here? Should they be banging the impeachment drum? No, I think Democrats are going to do what we're currently doing. We're going to have a real conversation with the American people, and that conversation is working. Overall, we're winning on the generic ballot. We're up in a lot of states. And, and let's not forget the fact that the reason why we had this investigation to begin with is because Rod Rosenstein, who was appointed by Donald Trump, not a Democrat, appointed Robert Mueller to run this, to run this investigation, who's also not a Democrat, appointed a lifelong Republican, appointed by Republicans over and over again to find truth. And what they're finding here is a lot of people connected to Donald Trump are engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors, and that's problematic. No, they aren't. Man, don't try but and they are. constitutional when it doesn't the apply. The whole thing with the Mueller investigation was to look into Russian collusion, and now we're talking about bank fraud and uh, tax bank evasion fraud is a crime, and right? potential campaign and so finance is tax crime. Evasion. Which okay, is but so listen is, to this, but you know Richard, here's, here's the thing. Let's, let's <laughs> stop applying the misdeeds of, of other questionable people to right. one person when when the I'm president not. no but I'm hold actually on. not okay but when the president <laughs> when when Robert Mueller or anyone else can show that the president has laundered money that he has accepted money from Russia that he has accepted help from Russia and that has compromised our democratic system then we can start talking about impeachment we are so far away from that at this point and that's what makes the whole thing distracting and it makes me think that democrats actually want the economy to tank so no, the, I don't think that's at all. Loses. That's not at all I, true. I think it's absolutely I actually do believe. This is why they're talking about socialism. They love socialism. Socialism only no, no, uh, no, no, makes no, no. purchase Hold up, a, a, bad hold up a second, Kennedy. I actually do believe that the Republicans have a decent economic message to run on. I think, sadly, the reason why people and I think Ned wants to talk about the economy. The reason why Ned and other Republicans cannot talk about the economy is because oh. Trump associates cannot keep themselves out of trouble, and they cannot stop throwing mud at each other, like Omarosa releasing a book and dropping 200 tapes. That is the that is the Republican Party's problem. It's not the Democrats. Oh, we aren't the problem. Please stop acting like it's exclusive to Republicans. <laughs> it all isn't, these, but this time the pox is on nasty. their house. They're gross. I can, I can smell the fungus from here. <laughs> That's why I stay in New York. I stay off the Acela. Ned, you get the last word. <laughs> no, you know what, uh, Kennedy? We're two years in. Zero proof of collusion. Richard, I do want to talk about the economy. I want to talk about but that 4.1% because because GDP. And Manford. Oh, I talk about it all the time. I'd much, much rather talk about the stuff. fact that if Democrats get back into power, they're going to take away those tax cuts. They're going to try and they go are. for another assault uh, gun ban. Let's also remember and they're that also the, going to try and actually President increase Obama the size of government economy. and socialism. They're, they're going to take our gauze and our guns. And, and, that we're, is not and, okay. and I think that this, it's a farce to believe that all Democrats are socialists. That's also not true. Two points for our use of the word farce. Ned and Richard, thank you both so much. <laughs> Always good to talk to you both. Good to see you. Thank you.